Hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, how's everybody doing today in this bright and beautiful Wednesday morning? Hope that this video, like every other video, finds everybody doing well. And if you're not feeling so well today, I hope you're feeling better real soon. Hey, I have my phone out here for a reason. And of course, my trusty notebook. And of course, a nice piping hot cup of coffee next to me. Because I can't get through things in life without that nice hot piping cup of coffee with me. Okay, but on the phone with me right now, I have Steve Young. And you know, Steve wears many hats just like I do. You may know me as the YouTube lady, but guess what? In the prior life, I was also an eBay seller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you recall a few really cool videos from last year where we spoke about online sales. We're going to take some time and probably do a part one and a part two of this because I believe that in these challenging of times, to earn a list a little extra cash is a wonderful thing. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for taking the time to call because we could talk about this. Both of us actually have been selling on eBay for a number of years. I had to put my account on pause because I had to help take care of my mom and so on and so forth. But we'll talk more about that later because I'm working on coming back to it. And you could be a really big part of it by taking a look at the links, etc., which will, etc., which will be listed in my description box below. Steve, do you remember off the top of your head the very first thing that you sold on eBay? I most certainly do. The first thing that I sold on eBay was a fishing net. A fishing net, like a net that you really catch fish with. Wow. Okay. And did it take a long time to sell or was it hard to sell? Let's see. When I listed, now I'm going back probably 2002, so it's a while back. I would say I listed it, I would say probably within the next four to five days, I had a buyer. That's not bad. You mean for your very first sale? I have to tell you, that's really, really good. Now, for those of you who may or may not be familiar with eBay, getting that very first sale is crucial because either you're going to get turned off by the idea or you're going to get really turned on by the idea. But you fulfilled a need. And you know something? It is so true. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Steve, I don't know if you're aware of the story of my first eBay sale. Would you like to know it? I sold the most hideous thing, really, in my honest opinion. Someone had given me a gift. Now, I'm not undermining the thought that somebody thought enough of me to give me a gift, but it was so far away from anything that I personally would like that it was just kind of sitting in my closet collecting dust. So I said, you know what, just for the fun of it, I'm going to list this thing as my first item on eBay. And what was it? That fish, that singing fish, that Billy Bass thing. Now, don't get me wrong. For those that find that fish cute and adorable, God bless you for it. But everyone doesn't share that same sympathy. But I really thought this thing will never, ever sell. Wrong. Wrong. My first eBay sale sold within two days. Not bad. And for you, Steve, the four days was really good. So, and this was back in what I called the Wild West days of about 2003. So I really thought that that fish... Wouldn't bite, but it's sold. So, Steve, are you saying that it really doesn't matter what you put up on eBay? Do you think everyone has a chance to, to sell whatever? What do you feel about that? Well, allow me to say, based on what you just commented on, I myself, around your same time frame, had a Billy Bass fish as well. So... And that took roughly three to four, almost the same time frame as the fishing net. That was my second item that I sold. Then the third item, I must share this with your audience. It is a fabulous thing. If you want to talk about retro item, I sold an Akai GX646 reel to reel. Oh my that gosh, reel to reel. That's great. I don't hear about much anymore. 
I'm sorry to interrupt you, but that's one fantastic item. Did you say a reel to reel? Right. Wonderful. Yeah, so, you know, that people, that are your subscribers, I should say, is what I meant to say, would certainly know about what that item is, because today's generation, eh, not so much. But that was my third item, but I definitely encourage people, coming back to your question, to consider using eBay as a selling platform. Or, if you don't want to use eBay, you have other platforms like Craigslist, let go, offer up. I believe there was one that I recently heard called Etsy that you could use. Right, uh, Etsy, yes. You have, so you have several avenues out there, you know, to get your items out there to get sold. And, you know, to clean out your garage, clean out your house, you know, things that you may have in your home that is just sitting there. You think you're going to use it. Two, three years go by. Well, it's just sitting there. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to pass it on to somebody else. And that's a really good point. Not to intrude on your thought for a minute, but this is really important. If you have something in your home that you claim is valuable, you never use it. All it does is collect dust. And you are in need of either paying off a debt, uh, making sure your bills are paid on time, getting food on the table. You have to really evaluate and ask yourself... Should I take a chance and list that item? Doesn't have to be eBay. I get it. Not everybody wants to. I'm so sorry about that little technical glitch, but life happens. And, you know, we were talking about if you have something in your home that you really kind of don't use and it's just sitting there. And you say, but it's valuable. No, it's only as valuable as the use you get from it. If the item is just sitting there for years and years and years, but you need to pay a bill or help uh, kill off a debt of some sort, why not strongly consider listing an item? It doesn't hurt to list. It's good practice, too, to see if you can sell something, which 95% of the time it does. May not be overnight, may not be in two days, may take a little longer. But that is totally fine. The value is in what you get back from that item. Got it? So I really, really want to encourage you to think about that. And we'll be right back in a minute. Just a quick reminder of thanks and gratitude for anyone out there that decides to share my videos. Click like and consider subscribing. I truly appreciate it. Have a great hey, day. Thank you so much for sticking around. And of course, I really do appreciate your time. We're continuing our conversation. Hey, Steve, talking about hey. online sales. Thank you, Steve, so much for coming by. Really appreciate your phoning in to us today. And Steve, you would say that you've had some pretty good success with online sales. Would you say that there's a huge degree of difficulty uh, would it be in the area of creating an ad? Would it be in the area of being patient? Or would it be in the area of actually finding things to sell? How do you do all of the above, or at least one of the above, if you don't mind answering? No, not at all. What I do is I go through my belongings and I will find something or several items, I'll look at it. If I'm familiar with what it is, I simply just come up with an ad off the top of my head. I don't write it down on paper. I just pretty much think about how to describe it on a mental level. And then from there, I just, you know, add in my little details sold as is, no refund, no return. Um, I mentioned how long it can take according to location as to when the buyer will receive the item. Also, upon shipping my item, I get a tracking number. As soon as I get my tracking number, I immediately go back to eBay where the item sold. It gives me the option of adding a tracking number. That way, my customer can keep track of when their item is going to show up. You know, that's really, really great. That way you are completely covered. And if there are any questions that the buyer has, 
then the answer is right there. You know what? There's just so much to talk about. Steve, you mind calling me back tomorrow and we could pick up on this conversation because I'd like to share some of my Craigslist experiences too. Doesn't only or always have to be a paid for platform. And in the uh -huh. meantime, oh, thank you, Steve. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate I must, it. I, I must throw this in about sure. Craigslist again. But my apologies for jumping in. No, no. I have you. I have used Craigslist as a platform in the past. It is very good. I do recommend it. There's no fees. You can list just as you would on eBay. What I do recommend is you have to be a little bit more careful when you sell on Craigslist because you have a lot of people trying to scam you. And you know what, Steve? On that note, because unfortunately we're running out of time, so we will go over that very important point as well as, you know, the other experiences as well. So listen, Steve, I appreciate your calling back. Thank you for being here today. And thank you, everybody, for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Come back tomorrow. We'll pick up on this. Get inspired. Look through your things. You may have something that you can make some money on right under your nose. Have a great day.